Good morning. So um, this next uh, question we're going to ask today is, again, how can I tell what voice is speaking to me, where a thought is coming from? Today we're going to talk about what does our own voice sound like. And um, the scripture we're going to read is from Judges 6, and it's verse 15. And it says, Pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied, but how can I save Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. And this, the, the scripture context here is that um, the people of God are um, oppressed by um, enemies, and an angel shows up to this guy named Gideon, and the angel says, you are a mighty warrior and you are going to deliver your people from the hand of their enemies and gideon is like me are you sure uh you're not talking about the guy down the street he's like i am the weakest in my family our clan is the weakest in our in our nation like we are i don't what do you mean how is this even going to happen and he continues to ask questions like like are you sure about me? And this is so common when God comes and calls somebody to complete a great work. The reaction that we have is to first question ourselves, to doubt ourselves. When God begins to speak to us, when we're faced with something challenging, we begin to ask, can I really do this? I'm not sure if I can do this. And we begin to doubt ourselves. We need to recognize he is going to tell you the truth even when you don't know it about yourself because he's the one who created you so he knows what's hidden away in you so over and over again god is calling people the bible says many are called and few are chosen and jesus is there's this there's a scripture about jesus standing on a hillside looking over jerusalem and saying oh jerusalem I've longed to gather you together like a mother hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you weren't willing. And so often we get to this place where God is calling. It says many are called, but few are chosen. So how do, and, and, it, and so what does that mean? Like how do we become chosen? Well, I think we have to choose to answer the call. And many times we get into this rut of saying, oh, I, don't, I can't do that. He, he doesn't know what I've done. He doesn't know who I am. He doesn't know how weak I am. I would never be able to do that. But then the few how, that can humble themselves and be able to say, yeah, I can't do that, but God can. When we get into this place where we would rather believe our own thoughts about ourselves rather than God, our own doubts about ourselves rather than who God can can empower us to become, then we a lot of times are at a point or we're choosing to, cho to choosing a destiny that's not as glorious as what he he could put us on the path to achieve. I could say, Lord, I don't think I can handle it. I'd rather go home. And he would look at me like any loving father and say, in this moment, okay, baby girl, we're going home. And it's not it's not that he needs us to accomplish the work, but that he invites us to do it with him. And so. There are times when he's saying, you need to go. And when you do disobey, you know you're just trying to save yourself. In those moments, there's a clarity of knowing I'm not following God. If we have faith to trust him and walk with him into this great adventure, then we'll go. And if we don't, then he'll go with us. There are times when we walk away from him as well, and we know that, and we feel that. And we can see that and we grieve it. I thank you, God, that you know every every single bit of our hearts, our bodies, our minds. You know our spirit. You know uh, the situations of everybody around us. You know where our paths are able to go and what they're going to cross as we go down each one as we choose. Increase our faith, God, so that we can answer those invitations to be a part of the work you're doing and we can rejoice with you in it. Thank you, God, for another day. And I pray in the smallest of ways we would say yes today. And then as we we're faithful with the small yeses, you would ask us, invite us on bigger adventures, and we would have the courage and the faith to say yes to those as well. In Jesus' name, amen.